Why would you say something like that to Kate, Mom? Oh, did I say something? It's about the baby in her belly. The baby seems to be growing up healthy. Don't play dumb. I heard you say something awful when you found out it was a girl. Oh? What about that? What about that? Kate was really upset about it. Well, you see, you're our only son, right? Kate has a duty to bear an heir, right? What's that about? We're not some fancy family. Heirs don't matter, right? I don't care about that. Well, I do. I want to keep your late dad's last name. Dad wasn't the kind of person to wish for such nonsense. Kate's pregnant and sensitive, so could you please stop saying hurtful things? She's part of our family as your wife. It's important for her to understand her role as a wife. Her role? Yeah, it's about bearing an heir. <laughs> and also, obeying what the mother-in-law says. <laughs> Kate doesn't seem to get the basics of being a wife. I don't care about that stuff. I just want my family to be healthy and happy. It's because you're saying such nice things that your wife gets the wrong idea. Anyway, don't say anything unnecessary to Kate. If you ever hurt her again, I won't forgive you. Okay, fine. Kate, are you home? I heard you're not feeling well. Hi, Glenda. Yeah, my belly's been feeling really tight and swollen. They're worried about premature birth, so they told me to take it easy at home. I'm feeling okay, though. Well, that's good. You should come over then. Huh? It's a walking distance from your house, right? But moving around makes my belly tight, and I don't want to risk anything happening to the baby. I'd rather stay at home. What? Can't you listen to what your mother-in-law says? You're being quite bold, aren't you? Um, could you please tell me the reason why I should go? Huh? Do you need help with something? That's right. You can at least cook, right? Why don't you come over sometime and make dinner for me? It's not acceptable for a daughter-in-law to leave her living alone mother-in-law alone, right? Well, I don't think cooking should be a problem. What? The last time I came over to help with cleaning, something bothered me. It's been bothering me ever since then. Huh? You kept tripping me while I was cleaning, didn't you? Why would I do something like that? Were you trying to make me fall? And it wasn't just once. It happened several times. You kept tripping me. How rude. Why would I ever do something like that? Stop making false accusations. I'd never trip a pregnant woman, would I? Was it all in my head? At one point, the vacuum cleaner handle was shoved right into my belly. That happened because I was moving the vacuum cleaner. And you happened to be in front of me, right? <laughs> Is that so? So, it was just me misunderstanding things? Of course. I wouldn't do something like that on purpose. How rude. Maybe it's just pregnancy blues. Lately, I've been feeling negative about everything, so I think it's best to avoid coming over until after the birth. What? What's that supposed to mean? It's like you're blaming me for making you feel like that. I'm just reminding you of your duties as a daughter-in-law, that's all. I've known for a while that you don't like me, so I've always felt a bit guilty. I was hoping that once I became pregnant, your feelings might change. But when you found out it was a girl, what you said was also upsetting. Are you really bothered by that? Well, you took someone's precious son away, so it's only natural to be disliked, isn't it? What? Plus, not being able to have a child to carry on the family name is pretty sad, isn't it? 
Maybe it's no surprise you're getting teased, huh? <laughs> but tripping a pregnant woman could put the baby's life at risk. Oh, God. I said it wasn't intentional, didn't I? It's because you're clumsy and keep getting in the way. I just want to focus on having a healthy baby right now. So I prefer to stay at home until I give birth. I'm sorry. Hmm. That's quite a statement, huh? So you're saying you won't listen to your mother-in-law? I can't do anything about it. Dale also said I don't have to go. He said that? It's because you keep talking shit about me. I just told him what happened the other day. I never said anything bad about you. Fine. Such a failure of a daughter-in-law. Can't even be kind to her mother-in-law. Hopefully nothing bad comes of it. Kate? Are you in the hospital? You need to contact me as soon as possible. Huh? Hospital? You poor thing. Having to go to the hospital because you fell? What are you talking about, Glenda? Is the baby okay? I've been worried, which is why I texted you. What's going on? I don't know what you're talking about. I know you don't like me, but I'm not the type to be cold-hearted. <laughs> I imagine you must be feeling down. But hey, you can always have another child, right? <laughs> A child? You went out to buy groceries, didn't you? You tripped and hit a car while walking. The neighbors told me everything, matched up with what happened to you. Plus, it happened at the supermarket you always go to, so I was sure it was you. What? I'm just at home making lunch. I haven't even been outside. Huh? Come to think of it, I did hear an ambulance siren earlier. Was that it? What do you mean by, was that it? You were the one that got taken away, right? I mean, they were wearing that denim dress you always wear. There aren't many options for easy-to-wear maternity clothes. And now, with social media sharing detailed updates, a lot of pregnant women end up wearing the same outfits. <laughs> she was also wearing those famous white shoes from that well-known brand. That's also getting around on social media. So many women who aren't pregnant are wearing them too. <laughs> Her hairstyle was also the same as yours. Black hair with a bob style. There are always lots of people with the same hairstyle. <laughs> huh? That can't be right. There's no way I could have made a mistake. Glenda, you know a lot considering you only heard about it. That's because the person who told me paid close attention. Accidents happen out of the blue, right? I think even bystanders would be surprised. So, were they really paying such close attention to all those details? People are different, you know? What you notice, others might not. Are you sure it wasn't you who actually saw it happen? Huh? No, no way! Why do you sound nervous all of a sudden? Are you involved with the accident? I just passed by the scene. That's why I know the details. What? I thought you heard it from your neighbor. Huh? Did I say that? Glenda, do you have something to do about the accident? Hell no. Why would I? But isn't it weird that you know all the details like the clothes style, shoe brand, and even the hairstyle? And still, you could tell it was the same as mine, right? I was worried it might have been you with the accident. Especially with the baby coming, an accident would be really bad. I'm glad you care, but it's kind of creepy how much you know. So, I'm curious, what were you doing there to see it all? I was going for a walk. Going for a walk? You always mock it, saying it's something only old people do. You've never been for a walk even once. That's not true, is it? I was thinking of coming to see you. It's getting close to the baby's due date, so I was concerned about your health. Dale said no visits, right? 
he's been really clear about it. And until now, you never showed up. What's going on, Glenda? Just tell me the truth. Enough already. I thought you were rushed to the hospital, but here you are at home. What's going on? Mom, I talked to Kate. Please, just tell me the truth. I hate to think about it, but if you were the one who tripped that pregnant lady, it would be a big problem. Dale? I don't know what she told you, but I have no idea what that's about. No, I had a bad feeling about it and contacted the police. About what? I was curious why was that lady taken to the hospital. Why would you do something like that? It has nothing to do with you, right? Yes, it does. Mom, if you know something, please tell us. Huh? What are you trying to say? The police interviewed eyewitnesses, and it seems there was someone who witnessed the whole thing. Really? The pregnant lady told the paramedics that as she was walking, a stranger tripped her out of nowhere, causing her to fall forward and hit her belly hard. She also mentioned lightly bumping into a car during the fall. I see. That's scary. I wonder if that lady did something to make someone hold a grudge against her. I don't know about that. So, what happened to the lady? You want to know? Of course. I'm worried about her condition because she's in the same situation as Kate. Do you know what happened after? Mom, are you really not involved? If you know something, you'd better speak up now. It could be a crime. Wait, Dale, let me explain something. I was just trying to play a harmless prank on Kate. I never meant to hurt her. And I had no idea that woman was a stranger. So please, keep this between us. What the hell, Mom? I knew it. What have you done? What happened to the lady? She got some scratches, but both the mother and the baby were okay. That's good. What's good about it? She is injured. Go to the police right now and apologize sincerely to that poor lady. Are you serious? Are you trying to make me a criminal? I didn't mean any harm, so please forgive me. Let's just pretend we didn't know anything. Do you realize what you've done, Mom? If you won't admit to your mistake, I'll go and talk to them myself. Even if I stay silent, Kate won't forgive you. No way. Hey, Kate. Dale is telling me to go to the police and turn myself in. Please talk some sense into him. Do your role as a wife. Are you still saying that at this point? What you did was wrong, you know? You could have lost two lives. I'm truly sorry about all of this. I apologize for everything I've done to you as well. Please, help me convince Dale. I can't let it slide. That lady has people who care about her too, you know? Don't you feel sorry for her and her family? You need to own up to what you did. Tell the police everything and apologize to the lady. I'll be a criminal if I do that. Is that what you want for me too? It's a fact. With eyewitnesses and all, I believe it's only a matter of time before you get caught. Don't you think it's better to go to the police yourself rather than wait? Wait, so you're saying if I don't go voluntarily, the police will come to get me? Yes. I don't want that at all. If that happens, I'll be humiliated on national news. I can't bear such a disgrace. Being shown on TV as a criminal? Are you being serious? You're missing the point here. If I were that lady, I'd hate you from the bottom of my heart. After all, you tried to harm the baby deliberately. That's not true. I never intended to harm anyone's life. I just wanted to make you suffer a little. You get me? You took away my precious son and failed to fulfill your duties as a wife. You can't even bear a successor. It's only natural for a mother-in-law to think that way, isn't it? Is that really how you feel? 
Even if I let you off the hook this time, there's a chance you'll try to hurt me again, isn't there? No, I'm never going to do anything stupid again. I apologize. You did something that could put me and my child in danger. I can't let this slide. If you don't go tell them yourself, I will. You hurt that woman and showed no remorse. I can't forgive you for that. No way. I'm sorry, Kate. I will never do something like this, so please forgive me. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to the person you hurt. Kate, I'm cutting ties with you. Don't say that. This is something serious. Living with constant uncertainty is no joke. As a mother-to-be, I have to prioritize my child's safety. I can't be with someone who doesn't value human life and health. I've apologized and reflected on what I've done, haven't I? Have you really? Saying sorry doesn't fix everything. Dale might cut ties with you after speaking to the police. Even though you're his mother, he won't stick around if you're a threat to his family. You're kidding me, right? I'd be left alone. You reap what you sow, right? Just accept the consequences. I don't want that. Holding the next generation of this family has always been my dream. That's not going to happen. We are not going to let you see our child. By now, I think Dale is probably talking to the police. So just wait for them to come pick you up. <laughs> You're so cold-hearted. Are you really going to abandon your mother-in-law? Shouldn't you be listening to what I say? You're still on that? This is not going anywhere, so goodbye. I will block you on everything. We'll never see each other again. Take care. Please don't say that. Help your mother-in-law. After that, the police came and took Glenda. Thankfully, the lady only had minor injuries, so they settled things with just compensation. I wished my mother-in-law would face consequences and reflect on her actions. She got lucky. As expected, after facing criticism from the neighbors, Glenda quickly left her home. Soon after, her house was put up for sale. I suppose she used the money for the compensation and to find a new place to live. Since then, Dale and I have completely cut ties with Glenda. We have no idea how she's currently living. Me, on the other hand, I gave birth to a healthy baby girl. She's the cutest thing, like a dream come true with Dale. Right now, we're staying at my parents' place. But soon, we'll move to our own place to keep our distance from Glenda and start fresh as a family of three. Wishing everyone good health and a peaceful life ahead. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.